So if you have one of these mixers, which is a Behringer DX2000 USB, one of the common problems is the output channels uh, failing, or rather you lose audio from one of the channels. And this started happening to me. I was getting intermittent failures of the left-hand channel initially, um, which then became persistent. And actually, usually, the cause of the failure is, is not a failed component, it's actually a ribbon cable. So all you need to do to fix this problem is take the side panel off the right hand side if you're facing the mixer. It's pretty easy to do, all you do is you go round all of these side screws, take them off, there is a, a wing that normally sits here, like that, and there's a side panel of metal, right? Just take them all off and have a look in. Now obviously be very careful uh, because there are parts of this, such as over here, which are mains voltage and you don't want to go probing at those. Now your problem is actually right at the very last stage. Um, if you're finding that you're getting audio coming okay from the headphones, uh, but not from the main out, this does imply that the problem is beyond where the headphone jack or the headphone output is, which is uh, this little thing here. So it was pretty easy to trace the problem actually right to the output amplifier. If you look into the mixer you can see that we've got this ribbon cable here that is connecting the sort of the, the mixing board to the output board. And this ribbon cable is often the source of your, your problems. If you follow it down to where it inserts into the amplifier board, and if we play with this, you will be able to hear, hopefully, the audio cutting in and out. Let me just kill off the right channel, which wasn't the one that was causing us trouble. Right, here we go. So, ribbon cable here. That's your problem. All you need to do... Look, look, there we are, sorry. Bad camera, man. There you are. No audio. Audio. No audio. Audio. All you need to do to fix this issue very simple, is to reseat that cable. So uh, what you want to do is power down the mixer completely, take out your mains power, uh, turn it all off, uh, just assume that there's going to be still some live components in the main section, and uh, you need to, well, there's several ways you can do it, but if you uh, undo the various screws at the back, okay, you've got this sheet metal that runs all the way from the back panel around the top, and back down the front again, and it's there's some screws under here. So if you undo all those screws, you undo the screws at the back, you'll then be able to lift this component out the way, and that will allow you to get comfortably into this amplifier board, where you'll be able to reseat that cable, and that might be all you need. I'd suggest when you are taking the uh, ribbon cable out, uh, that you spend a bit of time cleaning the connectors, um, rubbing alcohol or... Uh, uh, with no water in, obviously, or um, uh, aerosolized air, uh, you know, compressed air will do the job nicely. Um, and also, make sure you inspect both ends of the ribbon uh, connector itself in case there's a bit of, uh, there's a tooth of the ribbon connector that's not quite properly in the cable. Worst case scenario, just buy a standard ribbon cable and replace it. I don't actually know how many cores this is, but it won't be too difficult to work out by counting them. And it, you know, you can get ribbon cable everywhere, it's very easy to find. And that'll do it, that'll fix it. And you don't need to buy a new mixer, um, you just need to replace a ribbon cable or reseat it. That's it. Behringer DX2000, not really known, uh, this company, for high quality, but uh, isn't it nice when a apparently significant problem can be fixed with something quite simple? Right, I'm going to undo a load of screws now.